Johnny Talks Sports, another episode of Johnny Talks Football. Today I'm going to make my Super Bowl 50 prediction between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. Before I get to that, I did reach 150 subscribers this weekend, and as promised, I will give five people a shout out. So my shout outs go to Mason Talks, Carlos, JD Sports, Comical Disaster, and Stillwater Sports Cards. Now these five people, they make videos on a regular basis like I do. So I will put the links to their channels in the description box. Please go check them out. They do a great job with every video they do. So please go check them out. Now on to my Serial 50 prediction. The Denver Broncos and Carolina Panthers. Now both these teams have been through a lot this season. For the Panthers... Losing Kelvin Benjamin in the preseason, probably their best wide receiver, before this regular season even starts. They went on a tear to start the season off 14-0 until losing to the Atlanta Falcons in Week 16. Panthers are probably on the best run that I've probably seen watching football in my lifetime because the 72 Dolphins, I was not even close being born in 1972. So just saying. And the Denver Broncos, many speculated this was going to be Peyton Manning's last season in the NFL, and it probably sure will be. Except he got benched earlier in the season against the Kansas City Chiefs after throwing four interceptions, I believe it was. But then he comes back in Week 17 because they need a spark because Osweiler was struggling against the Chargers. Because they needed Peyton Manning to get in there to ignite a spark to bring the Broncos to victory to lock up the number one seed. And ever since that, Peyton Manning has just looked great the last two games that he's played. So before I get to my prediction, let me just say, I've gone against both these teams twice in the playoffs, and I've been wrong every time. So kind of just wanted to point that out. To point out my mistakes, because I kind of need to start doing that. Point out when I'm wrong. Because nobody's really perfect at predicting these things. Come on. Now here's how I think this game's going to go down. I think it's going to start off a bit slow. Both teams are going to feel each other out for the first possession. Then I feel like the game's going to heat up with a bunch of points scored, probably around the second quarter. Now there's an old saying that offense wins you games and defense wins you championships. Both of these offenses have won games, and both these defenses look like they can win a championship. Many speculate the Panthers are going to run away with this game, but I don't necessarily think so. I think Denver has the offense score more than eight points this time around in the Super Bowl. And I think they'll probably score more than eight points in the first half. I like this to be a close game until around middle of the third quarter, when I think, and that's when I think Cam Newton is going to turn on the Jets He's going to show why he was this year's MVP. So in the end, I like the Carolina Panthers to pick up a 38-27 to victory. And, I, and this is most likely Peyton Manning's last game ever. But could he Brett Favre this thing? He's going to be 40 in March. I believe so. If I'm wrong, comment below. Because again, I need to know when I'm wrong. So I try to be 100% accurate even though it's kind of impossible. So comment below if I'm incorrect. So, Panthers 38-27. to I think Cam Newton is going to have four total touchdowns this game. And I think Jonathan Stewart's going to run for one. Then Graham Gano is probably going to get a chip shot field goal right before the half. So that's 38. For Denver, I see Peyton Manning throwing two touchdowns, one to Demarius Thomas and the other to Emmanuel Sanders. And then I see C.J. Anderson or Ronnie Allen running for one. And then I see two field goals by McManus. And of course, I like Cam Newton to be your Super Bowl MVP. So there you have it. There's my Super Bowl 50 prediction. Feel free to like and subscribe if you have not already. I know I just hit 150 subscribers, but the more subscribers I get... The more confident I feel in these videos, because you subscribers out there, you're the ones that keep this thing going. 
So I appreciate all of you. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy the Super Bowl. And I will see you next time.